Hi, my name is Akib. I'm a third year history student, and today I'm going to talk to you about what's it like to be a history student at City. Now, the reason why I was drawn to City in the first place, the big reason, it's in London. Uh, myself from Blackburn, a small town in the northwest of England, um, I thought I needed some sort of change. I wanted to meet new people. I wanted to explore, get out of my comfort zone. And I thought, what better place than the center of London? Um, and the reason why I um, sort of applied to City for history was because of the modules and how diverse the modules were. Looking at the specification, uh, the subject areas covered my interests and my passions, and also the lecturers themselves, how they sort of specialize in a broad range of subject areas. So I knew I was going to get some amazing perspectives and, and, and insights. So what I enjoyed the most about this course was the range of modules that I had to choose from. Um, it was such a pleasant surprise for me going into my first year thinking just going to look at modern history. But I was surprised to see a module that was on medieval history. Uh, and also when it came to the electives, I had such a range of subject areas to choose from that didn't necessarily touch on history. For example, uh, I did one module that was called the history of psychology. And there were other modules available, um, such as the music one. There was one about storytelling. Um, so there was such a range that I could choose from and it was so much fun. You know, you often get this misconception that history is all about writing essays and reading and yeah, okay, there's a lot of that. But there are so many lively debates happening in class. There are, you know, amazing presentations that we had to do. But my most favourite one was part of a module called The Living History Project. And this was in my second year. And we had to sort of create a way to make history accessible for the public. And our group thought, what better way than a podcast? And our podcast uh, was about the history of genocides. Um, and it was such an amazing experience to sort of get together, learn about how to podcast, you know, arrange all these meetings. Um, but the most uh, rewarding feeling was actually getting our podcast live um, on, you know, Spotify and iTunes and all over. And to see that happening was such a rewarding feeling, putting all that, that hours of work in and then you see the fruit, amazing. And, it, and also uh, the fact that this was something that I could put on our, on our CV, you know, I really, you know, really appreciate that. Now, you can't talk about university without talking about the social life. Um, and my experience with this is living in a student accommodation in my first year. I would highly recommend that. And the reason I'm saying that is because of the lifelong friends that you make, the connections, the experience, the memories, all of it. It's just, I think for me, it's like what the student experience is all about. You know, living out on your own. You know, you get that independence as well. You know, it's just, ah, I can't, I can't explain. Um, but it's just that experience that you have knowing that everyone's in it together. You know, it could be quite nerve wracking and like overwhelming at the start, but knowing that everyone's sort of wants to meet new people, they want to have a good time. Such an amazing experience. Like I highly recommend living in a student accommodation. Another thing about the social life is the societies. Now, City has a range of societies. So many societies, in fact, they're so hard to choose which ones to join. So join all of them. And I did that in my first year. And I'm telling you now, it's fun. You meet a lot of people, but it could get quite tiring. Um, so that's why in the second year, I sort of committed to a few. One of the societies that I joined was the Pakistani society. And I was involved in um, the, the opening event and I had to do an, a dance. And I haven't had a dance in such a long time. So. Um, it was sort of pushing me out of my comfort zone, which is an amazing thing. And I also met so many good, so many new people um, in so many like different interests, different interests, different subjects. Just, I'd recommend joining a society. Please, you will not regret it. So living in London can be quite expensive. And one thing that really helped me was being a student ambassador, which you can apply through through Unitemps, which is a student recruitment site. Now, the thing about student ambassador is that first of all, you meet a lot of people, you do some fun things and you get paid for it. For example, I was doing things that sort of pushed me out of my comfort zone. I was doing photo shoots in one place. I was shooting a video in another, setting up, helping set up an event in another place. Um, and like I said, you meet all these people. It's a good way to make money as well. Um, I'd, and I'd highly recommend you become a student ambassador when you're here at City. So overall, being a student at City has been such a memorable experience for me. It's just the people that I've met, the experiences, the memories, the opportunities that I've had, being in the center of London, 
Um, you know, I know for a fact I'm gonna look back in my life at these three years and think, wow, I'm so glad that I, I you know, I did that, and you know, and, and I don't regret that at all. Um, so I do hope you make the most and you enjoy your three years at university, and I hope to see you soon at City.